All right, in order to get started, first we want to remove this panel over here. In order to do so, mask off this area to protect the interior and lift your armrest and grab a hold of this area and this area. You're gonna just pull out this way. Here we go. Okay, the next step is to remove this side panel on the driver's side. First, mask off this area to prevent any scratches. Raise this little pocket over here. Grab your panel removal tool. Take the clip off here. And then, let's go ahead and just pull the rest out like that. Okay, now we're gonna remove the shift knob. This is not completely necessary, but just to create more room in the area, we're gonna go ahead and do so. So first, grab a hold of this area, push down. Turn counterclockwise. Okay, the next step is to remove this silver panel over here. First, mask off the whole area up here to protect your interior. Mask off this area over here. And you want to start off from this corner. So you're going to grab and pull towards you. Don't pull too hard because this area is kind of fragile and the plastic is too thin. So just be a little careful. And slowly, you're going to go ahead and release the clips all the way across. Alright, next we want to remove this panel over here. In order to do so, just grab a hold of the panel starting from here. Pull gently. Once all that is removed, remove the connector for your start button. Go through this angle right here, through this big hole. Okay, make sure you have a long extension for this. Go ahead and grab hold of it and just pull straight towards you. Okay, once we have the radio removed, first let's remove this clock connector here just so we have more room to work with. Okay, and the connectors that we're going to be working on is this really large connector over here. And then the next connector we're going to be working on is this connector right here. And also the GPS connector down here. 